hi beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel this is day six of my may uh, 12 days of christmas makeup challenge if you have not seen day one up to five make sure you go check out those videos because they are already up and make sure you like comment and subscribe uh, on this channel if you're not yet subscribed we've already started our makeup and today we are doing uh christmas makeup that is inspired by gingerbread man so uh we have already started and i just applied like an eye serum which i applied all over my face instead of just my eyes on me and then now what i've done is that i'm taking this uh makeup primer by makeup revolution it's their pearl blur and prime it's a blurring primer so i've just applied it all over my face using my fingers and just slightly spreading it on my skin because a primer is just supposed to lay on top of your skin it's not supposed to enter your pores and then as usual eyebrows normally define the face so what i'm doing is that i've just tapped uh some setting powder on top of my eyebrows just to dry the area and then i'm going to fill in my eyebrows with a dark brown pencil and then i'm going to go in with this rimmel wonderful brow gel it's clear and i'm just going to use it yeah to preserve my eyebrows essentially and after that i am going to define my eyebrows using concealer and the concealer that i'm using is the maybelline fit me concealer in the shade 50 so i'm just going to use it to define my eyebrows that is applied above and below my eyebrows so that they may be more visible on my skin tone because i'm basically almost the same color as that eyebrow you know shade that i used Next, we are going to color correct any dark spots on our skin and I'm using this illegal orange car color corrector. So I'm just going to apply it and then dab it in using a brush and then I will create a flawless finish afterwards using a beauty blender. Make sure you blend until it disappears into your skin tone. Not into your skin, but it blends into your skin tone. So for foundation, I will be mixing two foundations. First of all, this is the L'Oreal True Match foundation in the shade 9N. And the one in the dropper is the L'Oreal True Match Tinted Plumping Serum. And it's a serum foundation and that's the shade number 7 to 8. And that's the one I've mixed. And as you can see, I get a pretty good shade for my skin tone. And I'm just going to use the same damp beauty blender to just blend it all out. And then after I'm comfortable with the blend, I'm going to be using this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. The shade number 50. And I'm just going to apply it below my eyes, around my lips, and all the areas that I want to be brightened on my skin. <laughs> Hit the bells out, hit the bells from afar You are the brightest one amongst all the stars Thinking out loud, thinking over old friends I noticed now it's been a while since they left No problem, we'll find I will be using another concealer Which is a lighter shade than the one that I used For brightening my, under, uh, my inner corner of my eyes further and this is the NYX Studio Photogenic Concealer. And I'm just also going to use it as an eyeshadow base. So I'm just going to follow the same steps that I used with the previous one. Uh, dab, dab, dab with a flat, with a brush. And then use a damp beauty blender to blend it all out again. Mm -hmm. 
For setting powder, I am going to be using the Black Opal setting powder in the shade medium and I'm going to use it to set the concealer that I applied all over my face. All the areas that I applied concealer, that's where I'm going to set to make sure that the concealer does not crease. So the makeup look that I'm going for for the eyeshadow is going to be purely, purely um, eyeliner based or yeah, I'm going to use eyeliner. So I've just applied uh, a neutral eyeshadow shade to my eyelids and then now I'm using the Maybelline Kajal just to line my waterline and then the main eyeliners that I'm going to be using are white in color. So I'm using this Makeup Revolution white eyeliner. And I'm just going to like draw the shapes of the eyeshadow that I want. And uh, it's just exactly what you're seeing there. The, the, that's it. That's the shape. And then I'll do a white wing and a couple of dots. And then we'll be done with our eyeliner. I will still be tight lining my waterline using the Zaron Cosmetics eyeliner in black and then I'll put on my false lashes and then it will be time to draw the gingerbread man. So our inspiration for today was the gingerbread man and that is exactly what we are doing.
so now that we've drawn our gingerbread person we are going to add a little bit of blush on our nose just to tie the two gingerbread people together to connect them in some way so that's the she glam blush in the shade love cake and i'm just going to apply this white freckles to connect the two gingerbread people and then after that i'm going to go over the gingerbread people again so that's how it looks first of all uh, but before i go over the gingerbread people again i'm going to do my lips so we have one more step on the gingerbread people uh, and uh, before I do that step, I'm just going to do my lips. So I'm just lining my lips with a black pencil. I'll blend it out with a brush. And then for lipstick, I'll be using the Maybelline Vinyl inks. And the shade is Red Hot. So this is just a very shiny lipstick. Naturally, you don't need any gloss on it. As you can see, it comes with a lot of shine. So that's how we are looking and now we're going to do the final step which is the lining you know just to make sure that you i'm giving the gingerbread people some depth some dimension i'm just going to line you know every part of their body with a black liner so this helps give the you know the